Uh, okay, now we are doing the uh, three phase, um, single phase, um, three phase, uh, half wave uncontrolled rectifier, okay, which is three diodes, which is this one right here. We're going to use three diodes. Let's follow this, okay? I will turn off and I will show you what we have done. We came from the power supply to the AC emitters because, I mean, we want to see the AC emitter. And then we go out from the AC emitters here to the power diodes. We connect three now. Diode one, diode two, and diode three. And we'll go out. We know we, if we close this switch up, means we close, we close the switch between this diode and this, and this and this. Or we can leave it like this and bring wires here, here, or no, but no need actually. So now we came out from this one here. This wire right here. Okay, after we came from the AC emitters to the three power diodes to the anode side, now we are coming out from diode one, two, and three to the AC, to the DC emitter now, out from the DC emitter to the current isolator, out from the current isolator here, okay, to the load. Uh, let's let's do the, the resistive load by itself first. So I'm going to do this, okay, here, okay, that's, uh -huh. that's the resistive load by itself, okay, and then we just close back to neutral after we came out from, because this is three phase, so we use three, and we close the circuit to neutral. This is my voltmeter and voltage isolator. If I turn on now with 90%, I can see. That's, this is my output here. This is the voltage, the blue, and the yellow is my current. And if I count 6.75 boxes from here to here, I will find out that I have three pulses per cycle, okay? Okay, guys, can you just hold them because I'm recording, please? Okay. Um, okay, that's with the resistive load only. Let's see when we add inductive, what will happen. We will find out that the, that the current will be smoother. So I'll turn off. Okay, I'll come here. I'll go like this. Okay. And I will make a connection in series between the resistive and inductive. The value is already chosen. This is 60 ohms and this is 0.2. Now I'm going to turn on. Okay. Same values, everything right there. Let's see here what happened to the... Everything is the same. Voltage is the same. See here, the wave of the voltage is the same. But the current is smoother, okay? You can see that, the current is smoother. So that's, that's the difference. Uh, you just change the load. Let's assume that, uh, okay, let, let me come here, let's, let's show this. This is the three phase right here. So this is phase one, A. And this is phase two, we start from 120 here. And then we come back, and this is phase three. We start from 240, and then we close back. We explain this in the pre, in the beauty part. And this is my output here. This is my limit, 360. I have one, two, three. Okay. And the conduction angle. This is my alpha, which is 30, and this is my beta, which is 150. And conduction angle is from here to here, which is 150 minus 30 is 120. Okay. To find V max. This is the equation for V out for the three phase half wave, which is three, which represents the three diodes, times square root of three V max line to neutral. Because it's line to neutral, we, will, we multiply it by square root of three, divided by two pi, which is the one cycle. And um, how to find V max from the oscilloscope? 2.5 is the peak from here to here, the peak, how many boxes? So we have one box, two box, and a half. And two is the value that we chose for the for to, to represent the voltage. And then 30 is the is the is the isolator, is the voltage isolator. You can come here and see. This is the voltage isolator. We have common 30 and 300. So each box of the isolator is 30. So the value is 30. That's why we multiply it by 30. Okay? And after we get the value of the Vmax, we can put it right here, and that's the out. This one here is the, same, this is the equation, but for full wave, that we will 
explain next week or we will take next week. This is the full wave here. Uh, this is the out. Do you see? Now we have six diodes instead of three because it's full wave. Two pi with one cycle, but V max line to line. We don't have square root of three. We, we don't have because it's, the connection will be line to line now. The connection for full wave will be line to line. And now the, 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 the equation or the formula will be 3 V max line to line over pi. Okay? Now let's see here. We'll do the, we'll do the, the, the full wave, 3 phase full wave. And you guys can um, see it. Can be ready for next week. Okay? This is the 3 phase full wave uncontrolled rectifier, which is 6 diodes. If you see the circuit that we just done for the half wave, it will be the same circuit except one wire. You guys see this wire right here that comes to the neutron? We'll take, we'll remove it from here. See here? We will find out that this voltage will be higher. The peak will be higher. Okay. So now I will turn off. I will take this from neutral. I will connect it here. And since I already closed this, this is closed, this is closed. Now I have the six diodes. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six diodes connected. I did not change anything, just this wire right here. Okay? From here, from the neutral. So now the connection will be line to line. That's why we uh, change the equation right here. Let's, let's turn on and see the wave right here. I'm going to turn on so fast because I need to use two resistive boxes for this connection. One is not enough because the, the voltage will be high. We will notice that the voltage will be high. See here, see how much is the voltage? See here, it's like 250. I have to turn off because my load is not enough because the, the rated value for this one is 120 volt. So I need to connect two resistive boxes in series if I want to connect the full wave. Let's see here, if I turn off, what will happen here? See here, I can bring it down the voltage, see here? It's very high, I can stop it. Okay, I have to turn off. Okay, this is the six diodes, which is the three phase full wave uh, uncontrolled rectifier. In this we will have, um, we will have six pulses per cycle. This is 360, I will have one, two, three, four, five, and six. And the current will be there. The peak will be higher. You need to notice that the peak will be higher, and uh, the, the ripple will be uh, the, the ripple frequency will be higher also for the diodes. And um, that's it. Okay, thank you.